What is going on guys? I'm Chad. Welcome back to another beautiful day here in Southern California and welcome back to another beautiful day here on It's That Chad Audio Views Video. Today we're going to be taking a look at the all new 2020 Mitsubishi Mirage. Now I have a lot of questions about this car starting off with the fact that why didn't we get the upgrade on the car? Everywhere else in the world actually got an updated uh, Mirage, a full redesign of the car. However, here in the United States, we did not. But it's not my job to talk about why we didn't get that. It is my job, however, to tell you what is on this car and to review this car. So with that being said, let's go ahead and get right into today's video. As I mentioned, this is the 2020 Mitsubishi Mirage, and this is in the LE trim level, the limited edition model. And in this video, I'll be showing you guys everything this car has to offer, showing you guys some of uh, the things this car has different from the 2019, and giving you my overall thoughts. If you guys have any questions on the car, have any comments you'd like to add, please make sure you go ahead and drop that in the comment. With that being said, let's go ahead and get right into this video. We're gonna go ahead and start on the front, which is where I find something a little bit odd. We'll start on the grill. The grill has stayed remotely the same. You can see it has changed a little bit. Here I have the 2019 model, sorry, the 2018 model right there. So you can see a little difference there in the grill. However, we still have the chrome around the front. I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys the uh, base model ES front grill here in just a second. And you'll see, I actually like that a lot more. They've taken out that chrome around, replaced it with black, and I think that would have been a much cleaner look for this car. Go ahead and take a look right here. Now, back to this 2020 LE, we'll go ahead and go to the side of the car. We will notice these rims and tires. You do upgrade from the steel rims and hubcaps to these 16 inch black alloy wheels, which do look really good on the car. Turn signal indicator right here on the side of the car. Go ahead and show you guys a quick flash of the interior, which we will be coming back to here in just a second. That's a couple other areas uh, where this car has changed. Now, just a little bit about this car. This is a 1.2 liter three cylinder motor, which produces 78 horsepower. As you can see, the gas mileage is 36 on the city, 43 on the highway for a combined 39 miles per gallon. And you can get this car, obviously the MSRP of it is $17,535. And the entire car is assembled right there in Thailand. Go ahead and walk towards the back of the car. Once again, the car has stayed largely the same as it did on the 2019, unfortunately. On this LE, there's really nothing, uh, really nothing to talk about back here. You do get the LE badging back there in the back. Now I'm going to go ahead and show you guys around the interior of the car. Starting off back here in the trunk. You can see it's not a huge amount of space, um, but it is fairly deep. So you do have a lot of space down there. And of course these seats do fold down flat as well. I'm not going to be doing that because I do actually want to hop into the back seat and show you how much space you're going to be able to get. You can see they still went ahead and kept this big backup camera right there. Kind of ugly, but the car does have a backup camera. I'll be telling you more about some of these safety features once we get into the front seat. Now looking back here on the back seat, you can notice that you do have these uh, red inlays on the seats. Now, if you think that this is like the Eclipse Cross, it is not. These, sorry, the Outlander Sport also had red inserts into the 2019 model, but this is much brighter. Uh, this red is much, much brighter than what was in that Outlander Sport. It actually looks really good um, with the black. So go ahead and stepping down inside. You'll notice I definitely fit. My knees are slightly touching the back here. Now I already have this front seat set where I would be if I was driving it and I'm six foot. So just to give you a little bit of preference there. You can see headspace isn't the best. However, definitely, um, definitely not too bad at all. My head's not touching but my hair um, is touching. Other than that, it's pretty comfortable. I don't feel super cramped back here. Um, definitely won't want to be trapped back here for a super long time, but for short little journeys, not too bad. Um, you don't have any of the comfort features you would normally find in a car back here though, such as no air vents, uh, no cup holders, um, no bottle holders in the door, nothing crazy like that. You literally just have power windows back here and you can open the door. Other than that, pretty basic in the back seat of the car. Now, let's go ahead and hop into the driver's seat. 
Now guys, if you do want to see a test drive in the car, make sure you go back to my channel. In the very next video, I will be taking this car for a test drive to show you guys the driving dynamics of it. Now, looking at the front seat, you immediately see more of that red, once again, in the seats, as well as a couple leather little trim pieces, such as the cup holder, sorry, the um, shift lever there, and the air conditioning vents. Go ahead and sitting inside the car, I'm going to start right over here with the gauge cluster, and I'm going to work my way around the inside. You'll notice that it is very basic, pretty much the exact same. You have all of your pertinent information up there, your speed, your tachometer what gear you're in, your mileage, gas, all that kind of good stuff. Nothing going on up there that's um, too crazy. However, looking around here to the steering wheel, steering wheel is very comfortable. It is, feels very, very good in the hands. You have this red stitching, of course, and you have all of your Bluetooth and hands-free stuff there, cruise control, all of that, of course, is standard on this car. Once again, you have these red air vents on the driver's side, as well as way over here on the passenger side. Nice little touch there. Kind of like it. Go ahead and going over here to our touchscreen. Now this is a touchscreen radio, which does offer Apple CarPlay and Android Auto. I know this will make some people very happy. Look what we got here. We still have a CD player. Very, very cool there. So go ahead and uh, jump on one of these if you are one of those people that still want a CD player. You do have an automatic climate control system right down here. Scrolling on down here, you have heated seats, a little USB power outlet, another little um, power outlet there. Okay. Now that guys, that is going to go ahead and do it for today's video. Like I said, if you do want to see the drive in this car, make sure you go back to my channel and take a look at that. I'm actually going to go ahead and put a link up right here as well. But with that being said, thank you all so much for watching another Is That Chat Audio Views video. And I look forward to seeing all of you on the very next one. Have a great day.